Welcome back to Jimmy DeVille's Garage and episode two of the Barn Fine Fergie project. In this episode, Gav and I are attempting to get pistons which have been seized in an old diesel engine for at least 30 years moving again. Wish us luck. This lump of iron was once the beating heart of this 1953 Ferguson TEF. And without it, this project is going nowhere. Will the components that lie within be savable? We're about to find out. The pistons have now been soaking for about a week and a couple of things have definitely started to happen. Yep, so in cylinder one and cylinder two, the diesel's definitely gone down, so hopefully those pistons might actually move. Cylinder three and cylinder four, on the other hand, the diesel hasn't moved at all, so I think they're gonna be our problem cylinders, and they were actually the ones that had the valves stuck open. Hmm, problem pistons, that sounds painful. Yeah. Right, we're gonna crack on removing a load more and seals from the side of this engine so we can get a better look inside what's going on with those pistons. Should we get dirty, Gav? Yeah, let's get dirty. Always want to get dirty, Gav. <laughs> <laughs> the first job of the day is to remove the diesel injection pump, then the water pump, dynamo, and starter motor. It's a pump, so it come off, Jimmy. I'm just going to do a little wiggle and see how we go. Coming, is it? Oh, yeah. That looks clean, doesn't it? Yeah, look at that. Injector pump off, time to crack on. Even though there's not a massive amount of wiring on the tractor, I still like to label all the wires up. I simply just use a bit of white gaffer, tear it off, bung it on the wire, and then just use a marker pen to write what it is. So this is dynamo. Gav, I don't want to jinx anything, right? But yet again, that injector came off like sweet. All the nuts came off really nicely and it just pulled away. Yeah, I'm really surprised. I was expecting to have to uh, fight with it a bit more than that. Yeah. Even this water pump, again, the nuts. Just coming on. Lovely. Same with the dynamo, just coming away really nicely. You got it. I've never seen a dynamo seized as solidly as this before. I have now. That's the water pump, the diesel injection pump, dynamo and starter motor off and we'll be seeing if we can bring them back to life in a later episode. Gav, we've got the hand seals off the engine. <laughs> and again, yeah, that went really well. It took us a good couple of hours to get those off, but they came off really well. Really nicely, weren't they? Yeah. yeah exactly. and I think a special mention is required for that injection pump because when that came off it was like seeing Ooh. yeah the end of that was absolutely mint absolutely mint anyway that's enough of the fluffy stuff we need now to focus on this the bottom half of the engine because we've got to get these pistons moving and uh, to be frank if what's in here is garbage and we can't get it working this project really isn't going to be viable so uh, this is all a little bit do or die. Yeah, it certainly is. Yeah. Gav, you were in the RAF. Did you ever do a parachute jump? Not on my own, no. Not, not on your own? I don't tandem. Tandem. I did a tandem. Not do or die enough. Anyway, <laughs> we need to see if we can get this thing working. Here we go. You should have done it on your own. We're hoping to stop the liners the pistons are currently seized in from moving by holding them in place with some big old washers and some pieces of tube we're cutting from an old pipe. Fingers crossed this will stop them dislodging while also enabling us to focus our efforts on those pistons, hopefully getting them moving again. Cracking idea Gav, let's see if it works. Give it some beans and just see. See what happens. If there's any movement. This is also though at the moment filled, I mean look at that, there's a bramble bush. 
So I reckon we have a little dig out, clear it out. Yeah. Whack these on and just give it some. Yeah, you never know, do you? Bit of Billy beef. Optimistic. Optimistic <laughs> to the end. <laughs> Should we just give it a go? Yeah, come on, you got to, haven't you? Oh, blimey. Well, something had to give eventually. And with the crank bolt off, we may as well take the crank pulley off. I think you'll agree, it's seen better days. <laughs> you beautiful thing. <laughs> After getting that off, I need a cup of tea. Yeah, definitely. I don't even drink tea. <laughs> I'll put the kettle on. <laughs> finally time to start work on those pistons we think are seized. We're starting with some heat and hopefully the expansion and contraction will help to set them free. And we're also increasing the pressure with a good old fashioned bashing. <sighs> I think it'd be fair to say that we're both looking a little cheesed off. You know all those things that have actually come undone pretty reasonably? Do you get the feeling we're paying the price now? Yeah, we've definitely hit the wall now. We need to try and do something to help work out what's stuck and isolate it. So we're thinking sump off, undo the con rods, uh, certainly of four, maybe of three, and then seeing if one and two move, and sort of going from there, but trying to get the pistons individually uh, loosened off. So. Uh, we're going to get mucky now, aren't we? Yeah. Really mucky. This ain't mucky. This is mildly, mischievously dirty because uh, we've got to take that sump off. Do one of your big sighs. <laughs> it's time to sigh as we take the sump off and uh, attack the engine from the bottom because attacking it from the top is not working and we need to see if we can get these pistons moving. Right, Gav, onwards. Onwards to victory. Yeah. It's not looking happy. Gonna to need to get the drip tray under here because I think when we take this off, it's gonna get very messy. Let's have a look what's going on from the underside. <laughs> it's exactly as we sort of said. Number three, there's a bit of corrosion, but nothing major. Number two, number one, pretty much cleans the whistle. But number four, he's the bad boy. Right, let's have another crack at those pistons, this time from both sides. At the moment, they're fighting me. And they might actually be winning. More hammering clearly needed. Can we just get piston four to move a little bit? Hopefully things will start to ease up. Oh dear. That's solid. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Solid as a rock. It's not been good. It is not been <coughs> I've lost my voice, Gav. So we've been probably now a good Five hours? Yeah, definitely five hours at least. Five hours trying to get the pistons moving with what we'd probably call measured force. Yeah, yeah, we haven't been going at it full bore. Full bore so. No, we've been gently, gently trying to get some movement. And uh, how much movement have we got? Zero. Zero. We've not even got a fraction of a millimetre, literally none. Um, we've been heating them, hitting them. We've had the bottom off. We've uh, disconnected the con rods, didn't we? Yeah, and still no movement. We're 100% positive that three and pistons three and four are pretty lock solid and the trouble is they're stopping, one's on the upstroke, one's on the downstroke so they're stopping the crank moving yeah. in any direction. Um, we've even tried knocking the sleeves out, no movement but there's a bit of an issue there. Yes, we've 
that we can see a little dowel at the top of the uh, liner and at this point we're not 100% sure what that dowel is doing whether it's locking the liner in or yeah something something's not right something not right so we've decided uh, we've been at it about 11 hours today we've decided <clears throat> to call it quits pack up go and regroup do a bit more research uh, try and find out what's going on and come back fresh faced in a few days time yeah and uh have another go. Have another go. Have a rethink. Uh, we're both ex-military, so it's time for a reorg. Cup of tea. Cup of tea, <laughs> and uh, we're going to come back at this. So we're not. We're not finished. We're not out. We're, we are coming back, but uh, for today, we're calling it quits. We're done. <laughs> we're done. Should we go, mate? Yeah, that's yeah. a pint. All right, pint of tea. <laughs> We're back, and I have to say, Gav, you are looking a little bit more fresh face. Yeah, I've had a little bit of sleep, Jim. A little bit of sleep. Um, we have to be honest, right now it is Pistons 1, us nil. But we've regrouped, we've had a rethink, and we've also found some pretty interesting stuff out. Yeah, so we were a little unsure about this dowel on the top here in the liner, and it turns out there's something called a cuff ring holding these liners in. I've never heard of that. No, cuff ring. I haven't even. No. So we've got to get that out. So I went away and made a wacky little tool, Jimmy. <laughs> That's what I call a Gav special. So uh, we're hoping that Gav's tool removes the cuff ring. Now the whole point of the cuff ring is to hold the liner in. So when we were trying to get the liner out the other day, with the cuff ring in place, we probably were never going to get anywhere. Um, we're also going to start applying a little bit more pressure to the pistons because we've also found out that we don't think if we get the liner loose it'll actually come out the top with the con rod attached because the con rod is too big to come out of this hole. So we've still got to separate the piston and the con rod from the liner. We've got to get the liner out. We might have to start destroying pistons. We're going to start at number four because we know that one's already knackered and then we're going to go to three. If we've got to replace more than one piston and liner, we'll probably end up doing the full set. You can get a replacement kit for around £200, so it's not a massive amount of money. But really, we didn't want to replace anything if possible. No, no. We wanted to try and save what we could. Yeah. But in this case... Knees may be must because at the moment nothing moves and this project at the moment is is a duck in, dead duck in the water. Yeah, yeah. So we've got to get these things moving. So, a fresh start, Gav. Yeah. A new day. Yeah. We've had some sleep. Yeah. We've got some big blocks of aluminium <laughs> and uh, on, some of them. So, uh, we've also got your tool. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, well we're going to be a couple of tools and uh, try and get these pistons moving. <laughs> And you're a bigger tool than me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Come on, let's get back at this. Come on then. Gav's special tool fits snugly inside the cuff rings. And as we tighten the bolt, it spreads it, gripping them, helping to pull them out. Start. Yeah, gentle. Yeah, have a little, little, have a little feel. What? No, not a jot. Feeling it. Oh. Yeah. Hello. It's that. We've just taken the top off the. That's just knocked the top off the uh, liner. Separated it. Yeah. So the piston's not moved, but the liner's cracked. And that piston's coming up, seizing that cylinder. We're on the move. Well, now we get the cuffing out, we should be able to come up with everything. Yeah. We've got movement. I need to mop my brow. You need to mop your brow? I was holding this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, were, you weren't sweating because of the heat. <laughs> oh, 
second cuff ring out, my man. Brilliant. Right, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to chain drill a ring of holes in the top of the piston, uh, punch out the centre so we can see, actually see into the piston and hopefully separate the piston from the conrod. Well, can you go the distance, baby? I hope you can. I'll help you go the distance because, honey, that's the plan. What kind of man do you think I am? I'll tell you, darling, I'm the man who can. You know all those things about love that you've been told. I tell you every day and now till I'm old. I think it'd be fair to say that we've now decided to go to war with the seized piston in cylinder four. The distance because, honey, that's the plan. I want someone beside me through the wind and rain And if you are that lucky guy, you stand up but you can It's gonna have its ups and downs, I'll be a bumpy ride You'll find that if you stick around, I'll be right by your side Well, can you go the distance, baby? I hope you can I help you go the distance because, honey, that's the plan mm -hmm. Life's a journey, but we think that it could need Taking turns of being in the driving seat You know I wear your ring of love of sacred blessed gold I hear you say you love me from now until I'm old We can stick together, this woman and this man Overcoming all this Who wants that? Yes! Woo! Oh, dear, dear. <laughs> Mate! Oh! Is it out? She's bloody out. Oh, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, mate. What a mess. Pen holder. <laughs> I've never worked so hard for um, a trophy before. <laughs> <laughs> so now we've got that liner out, we can actually get this piston up and have a look at it and as you can see it is a mess that's what was holding it in that liner the rings are stuck so it's never going to be any good anyway um, and actually you can see this is all the room we're going to have to play with to get the gudgeon pin out put the new piston in and the liner Sadly, that is the end of episode two. It's definitely time for him and I to go for a bath. Just not together, maybe. Um, and hallelujah, we now have the pistons moving freely in this engine. Sadly, it's only number one and two because four was... Sadly, uh, no good. Yeah, no good. It was fixed completely solid in the sleeve. Um, also, number three is looking a little bit worse for wear. So, Join us again in episode three when we'll be starting to rebuild the bottom half of this engine with new sleeves and pistons for all the cylinders. Until then, please leave your comments below. We would love to hear from you. And if you like what you've seen, please hit subscribe and that little bell icon so you'll know the next time we release the episode. Until then, happy tractoring and we'll catch you later. Shows your happy face. So we can definitely see the angle. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Gavin, Gavin, Gavin. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> Why have you got evil can evil can evil glasses on? <laughs> Go and paintball it. <laughs> you only get one set of eyes, that's what my mum says. <laughs> Your mum. <laughs> She's right. You can't argue with a woman, can you? <laughs> Liners and pistons. Fingers crossed, we can get them out. What's your What's your bets? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> End of episode four. But why did I say four? This is two. It's been a really long day. I like episode four. This thing will be running, mate. This thing's going to be running. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> Why am I saying that? I've always wanted a problem piston. Just not today. Ready for a cup of tea? Yeah. We need tea.
tea and a biscuit. Right. When the music starts, she's swinging sleigh.